of them have any particular Wisconsin significance, anything at all? Like the mayor lives on Mifflin Street. Yeah. Uh, my name is Adam Horowitz, and uh, I'm a writer and producer. That's true. Maybe that. I'm Eddie Kitsis, and I'm also a writer and producer. <laughs> Eddie and I, you know, we've worked in both film and television. Felicity, popular. It, it was a long process. We spent many years as staff writers on different shows, and then we spent six seasons on Lost, um, joining that show in the middle of its first season as producer-writers. And we worked our way up over the six seasons to being executive producers on the show in the final year. It's C4, Richard. I put some thought into hiding it. And then after Lost, you know, the network was like, what crazy show do you have? And we're like, we've got it. And Once Upon a Time was a show that we, we, the two of us, had been talking about for a number of years as something that really excited us and we thought could be a fun show to do. Snow White. But, you know, it was that Madison spirit because we were like, well, why not? Why can't you do all those things? And then I would say the same thing applied to, to a movie like Tron. Here they come which was, yeah. you know, a beloved movie from 30 years ago, you know, but we had an idea and we, we just said, why not? And we, we went and we pitched, you know, the idea and we were lucky enough to have them allow us to write it. We have put Madison references in almost everything we've done. The mayor of Once Upon a Time lives on mm -hmm. Mifflin Street and we've definitely had Bascom Hall and Langdon Street. And uh, on Lost, the character of Ethan, you'll see, uh, if you look back at that show, yeah. is wearing a Wisconsin sweatshirt. Yeah. Have I ever in, in Tron, did we get anything in Tron? No, that, that was a little harder. It took place in a computer, but I believe, Jeff ba I believe Jeff Bridges would be a badger. Yeah, I feel yeah. like, yeah. He, he is definitely a badger, trust me. More beautiful than I ever dreamed. You know, and that's where I met Adam in, in uh, ComArt's, uh, what was the class? I think it was a 350 intro to film. Yeah. We met in that. We were like in the same discussion group. And what? Adam wouldn't be my partner because we met, we were doing Super 8, which I don't even know if they do anymore. And I was looking at my film and it was upside down. So I turned to the kid next to me and I said, hey, is your machine broke? And Adam reached over and uh, he turned it upside down. I was being an idiot. And I was like, this guy's got something. Uh, but that is where we met, yeah. in Vilas Hall. Yeah, now in the basements of Vilas, uh, you know, cutting Super 8 films. And then we, we started, you know, uh, partnering and making these little films together. And, uh, you know, just started to fall in love with filmmaking and storytelling. You're always worried, oh, are the USC people or the NYU people, or they a step ahead of me, and they're really not, you know? It's really, at the end of the day, it's about you, and you can make your own future, and you just kind of have to have the, the passion and the commitment behind it. That I think the two of us have found a voice that we write to, and that's what we, we just always try to stick to it no matter what we're doing, whether we're trying to write a movie, or a television show, or whatever it is, as long as like we have something to say that guides us. And I think finding that voice is something that's very important, and I think we found that voice when we started telling stories in Madison. Thank you.